Hi everyone. This is a video documentation on how to enable remote desktop on OpenSUSE um, version 15.1, codename Leap. Um, I just installed it into my um, Raspberry Pi um, with LQXT. Um, um, uh, desktop environment. So let's go see how we can do this now. Okay, so first let's open up um, terminal. I'm using Mac, but if you if you if you are using Windows, you have to figure out how you can SSH um, into your Raspberry Pi um, or or um, either uh, through command prompt or PowerShell. Or in fact, I know that if you install git, git, git comes with um, git bash. So if you open up git bash, then you can you can use uh, Unix commands to get in to the to the um, to your machine. Okay, first figure out what your IP address is. I'm not logging into it directly into my uh, Raspberry Pi, but I'm going to remote into it. Uh, by SSH. So, um, so first thing first, figure out what your what your what the uh, IP address is. Now, I know how can you figure out your IP address without the IF config. Um, so you can what you can do is you can go into your router and figure out that what the IP address is. For me, it's uh, one point four one. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. SSH root at 192.168.128.141. Um, I am going to be logging in as, as logging in as root for um, OpenSUSE. The default password for root is Linux, so SSH, and the password is um, sorry SSH root at 192.168.128.141, and password is Linux, and that's it. I'm I'm in. And just to make sure that we are that I am logged in into my um, um, Raspberry Pi, it's uh, let's look at some of the commands. I think it's LSCPU, and there you go. It's my 64-bit um, Raspberry Pi. It's a um, it's an ARM 64 um, uh, processor. 1.2 gigahertz right here. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, and let's look at the. Uh, let's look at a. I forget what the command is, but I wrote it down. Um, yeah, there we go. Cat etc os release. Paste it in there. I'll put all these commands in the description view um, for you. So here you go. It's OpenSUSE um, version 15.1, codename Leap. So we're in. Okay, so this is OpenSUSE and it's Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. Great. Now let's move on to how to actually go about um, figuring out RDP. So OpenSUSE has a uh, nice little documentation. It says first create a uh, um, a file which is called XRDP and you would create it here. Okay. So what can we do? Okay. We can, I can go directly into this directory. And I'll do it from here. CD space, paste that in there. I'm in. Let's look at it. What's in there? Bunch of files. Now I'm going to create a file called XRDP. Touch XRDP. Great. And let's look at what the. Um, Okay, yeah, so it's going to be a read file, read write uh, file, which is okay. Now the command is view xrdp, and it's basically an editor. Okay, press I for insert. It says I'm trying to change a read only file. It's okay, That's, uh, it's, it's, not, it's read only for others, but it's writable for me. Um, okay, I'm going to paste these values in there. Okay. 
great. Okay. Bunch of different parameters, which is okay. Now, once you're done, press escape and now colon, shift colon, or just make sure you press the colon button and W and Q and exclamation will write the file and save it. There, done. So you can also read the file, if, make sure that you have to written it. So cat xrdp, there we go. Now that file looks like that. Perfect. Now it says, let's follow it up. It says zipper install xrdp. I could do it from here. So I'll just go back to my home directory, cd tilde brings it back, zipper install xrdp, okay it says now um, it wants to install a couple of dependencies. I'm going to allow it. Great, done. Next step to restart the firewall. Fail to restart firewall.service. Okay, it's fine. Uh, maybe the firewall is not really started yet. Uh, what we can do is we'll just restart the uh, machine. So we can do shutdown dash R now. And hopefully it will just restart itself when we get the line back up again. There we go, we're back up again. Okay. Um, so I thought that maybe, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the router gave it a new, new IP address, but it didn't. Great, so password is Linux. We're good. Now let's copy the system back up. Paste it. Good. And let's start our XRDP. It's on, perfect. Now we can log in. Okay, so you can use remote desktop from Windows or, um, well, I'm gonna be using remote desktop as well, but I'm using Mac, but Mac, or Mac also has a remote desktop. Um, okay, so I'm gonna add a PC. There we go, host name is 192. I'm just gonna add the, the IP address in there. 41, um, user account, oh, cool. there we go. Root, display, it says color depth is 16 bit. So make sure you use 16 bit. Um, optimize for retina display. The session resolution. I'm just gonna leave all these things um, on default. All right. So add. Let's try to connect. Okay. Connect. Boom. Great. Okay. Uh, looks like root is. Wait, what did I just do? Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know why you can't see it. All right, that's interesting. Uh-huh, we're in. 
Wow, this looks hideous. Flex QT. It's the um, desktop environment. I wanted to get the you know most low resource desktop environment. In fact, ugh, looks terrible. Ugh. I don't think I like it. Is there a um, is there some sort of editor? Media check. Nope. Okay. Preferences. Firewall. Let's check out firewall. Wow, it's really slow. Hmm. Well, I really didn't plan on, you know, using the uh, Raspberry Pi as uh, some sort of desktop or anything like that. But all right, so. That's it. This is uh, your remote desk desktop. This is how you remote desktop into OpenSUSE. Um, let's try to do something on it. Let's see if we can install VS Code in here. Okay, Firefox. This is slow. Oh man. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna not even care right now because uh, the 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 you know I really I really didn't plan on using Raspberry Pi as a any sort of desktop or anything like that. Um, it's already pretty laggy, obviously. Um, I think the Raspberry Pi four or higher with four GB RAM is definitely a lot faster. I've seen some videos on it, but for my purpose, I was gonna do something else totally uh, different with. You know, I was going to use it as a utility tool to um, update a DDNS or, or things like that. So that's pretty much it. You know, enjoy if you enjoy the video. Um, hope it helps someone. Um, all right, cool. Thanks for watching.